guess what? I got an angel sitting on my shoulder for story time. And I got my good friends, Mr. Owl, because I'm an Owlsley. So give a hoot. Give a hoot. And don't pollute your brain with religion. Get the heck out of town. Stop the bus. Don't do it. It just makes me so crazy. Ain't right. Not right. Not. So story time. And welcome to the blessing of uh, Jenny Weaver. And by the way, oh, I killed my little angel. Oh, no. I can put him on my head. He might stick. Yeah, no, I guess not. Oh, poor little girl. People, God wants uh, good, loving, spiritual people. How do you get holy water? You got to burn the hell out of it. And how do you get good, loving, spiritual people? You got to burn the hellish religiosity out of them. The condemnation, the judgment over one another, the brothers of other mothers. Anyone that's not in my happy joy, joy club is damned, is what they're thinking. Beneath their sinister smile of, I like you, but they're thinking, you're stupid. You know the truth and you're going to be damned forever. You're not as good as me. Condescending bullshit is what it is. So these are the days of Habakkuk 2 and the days of Jenny Weaver singing, weaving those songs of praise and worship to ascend into the highest heavens, beloved. Uh, these are the days of uh, Christ coming on Matthew 24, the great white cloud, Revelation 14, great white cloud where he sends forth his everlasting gospel and his everlasting gospel writer, Daniel, the latter-day Daniel, of Daniel 12, 13, to who arises to embrace my destiny as the foretold Elijah of uh, Malachi 3 and 4. I am the covenant giver. I am, uh, I've given the kingdom age covenant to all mankind exactly as it's written, Jeremiah 32, 27. I'm the God of all mankind. It got switched, people. Look it up. Read it for yourself. Early Christian followers said, we are Israel and we are all mankind. And the prophecy is finished, fulfilled now, instead of the latter days, like it says so in Jeremiah 30, uh, 1, 1 and 30, 24. But these are, bless the Lord, these are days of God's mercy that endureth forever. And the days of the fullness of this uh, manifestation of the prophecy of uh, Psalms 46, which I'll read in a minute, disclose that. The, but the, the word of God, there was a song when I was little. Um, what's that song? And he walked with me and he talked with me and a voice fell on my ear. And, uh, you know, the word of God is calling again and he calls all of us by our very own name. And uh, he's calling in surrendered silence and he's calling us in love to arise as one people uh, standing together in love and the unity of love is our, our hope that goes before him. His most perfect will for this age is the unity of man that he prayed for in the Garden of Gethsemane um, when he prayed that we would be one and he knew he was sending it. Uh, he knew that for sure, and that's why he said in the end, the other folds, that the flocks of uh, sheep that uh, have hated his voice would come in the end, and there would be one good shepherd over all the flocks of man and be only one flock, because he knew that uh, his voice, which was distorted and made into a lie, was would be He's discovered correct. by Elijah, who would restore all things by saying, hey, <laughs> they were not Israel, <laughs> and they were sure as heck were not all mankind. So good news is the Lord says, and written for this day and age, he says, I'm going to forgive your iniquity, and I'm going to remember it no more, sending Satan to hell for a thousand years, because he can never be the accuser of the brethren anymore. And the Lord says, I'm going to write my, uh, and if you send one person to hell who had their love light on, he'd be a liar because 1 John 4, 7 says, those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. He's like Sergeant Schultz. <laughs> he says, I see nothing. I know nothing. Even though our sin is as scarlet and ugly and red, it's as snow is white to him. And that's in the Bible foretold by Isaiah. But um, the bottom line is our unity goes uh, ahead of us, and we must join together as one people. So nation, how do you bring, all nation. over the world, how do you bring unity where there's never been any? 
here's how people, the formula that uh, is foretold in the vision of God in Habakkuk 2. It's time to come out of Babylon. It's time to leave the confusion of man-made religion. It's time to leave, the not the bad leaving the good. It's time for the good to leave the bad because if you don't get the good fruit out of the bowl, <laughs> and uh, they go rotten too. So it's time to come out of Babylon people. And uh, though the vision of Habakkuk 2 King James uh, was uh, slow in coming, though it tarried, it has finally come and it has not lied. Behold he whose soul is not exactly upright all the time, but the just shall live by my faith, even though I've been transgressed by wine. And I am lifting up the one world religion of the good shepherd of all the flocks of man, as his word foretold. This is the faith of Isa Yeshua, Jesus, the risen Lamb of God, who is the atonement for all mankind, slain before the foundation of the earth for absolutely all of us. And it is foretold that his glory shall go before him as waters cover the sea, as grass cover the lands, as lily covers the ponds. And now it shall be white on rice time, pink on flamingos, green on some frogs. And it's story time of mangels, whom we are. The first our last, the last our first. Our glory shall be greater than the host before us. And it is written in the Bible that the glory of the latter house is greater than the former. We are the diadem in his scepter of the majesty of majesties, our hero of heroes, our icon of icons, who is the carpenter of the ages, who in his wisdom loved us so much that he allowed us to believe a lie of our own uh, manufacture and man-made religions. It's time to leave them like yesterday's news. Make like bananas and split or just go bananas. Otherwise, it's your choice. But the, the truth is we shall not survive if people do not uh, obey his word written 3,000 years ago for now. For he speaks to the Joshua generation. He says to this people, and Moses foretold this in Deuteronomy 18.18, 18, one would come like him, uh, 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 another exodus leader, another covenant giver and another uh, writer of the creation gospel as revelation 14 has foretold i'm being ignored out here and i'm the correct half of the uh two uh lampstands trudy and i both had a miracle by a lampstand that was lit for me uh, i think it was seven minutes how long was your lamp lit for it was insane. seven eight minutes so anyways the the bottom line we're not the two witnesses mind you you don't want them to come. That's part of the erasable future. But I, I don't want to lose my track of thought. Know this. Hear this loud and clear. That when this vision of God comes, he wrote it plainly on the table. So all that heareth it may run fast. Leave religion alone now. We have to unplug and bring forth the uh, temporary disunity so that the tares that we leave behind can become the weak. We have to break the power of the holy people. The shattering of the power of the holy people shall I bring because I am the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13 who shall accomplish that because I am Elijah. Whether you guys like it or not Amen. and you can connect all the Bible verses in the Bible and it all points to me. And I'm going crazy because no one's paying attention. Jesus Christ cannot even come back, beloved, unless the lawless one be revealed, Mr. Morgan Knight. <laughs> My pretty, he's calling us unto death. Uh, and he's exponential too, by the way. So, uh, and the great falling away must happen according to the apostle Paul. So if you're arguing with me, you're arguing with Paul and you're standing there spitting at Christ saying this man is a false prophet and you're keeping your own savior from being able to return. Leave now! So with that, it's story time again. <laughs> Calm down because I'm an old guy. I got 59 years. I got yeah, blood pressure excited. issues. Blood pressure issues. I don't want to be a thermometer and just pop. But you know what? This world is going to pop 
if the erasable curse of Malachi does not happen. It's the curse of Isaiah 24, Zephaniah 1.1. 1, 1. Isaiah 24, I'm passionate because I know this stuff to be true. I believe the Bible 100 million percent, right. people. And uh, Isaiah 24 said the whole thing. Matthew, Jesus said the same thing. Matthew 24, 22, that unless these days of age of grace was cut short by his kingdom age covenant of Malachi 3, 1 being given to all mankind in straightening out the distortion of false god of love who had condemnation in his mouth for everyone of love. If you don't love me, I'm going to send you forever and burn you in me. That's a stupid story time. Yeah. Tune off. That's never been correct. No. Uh, they ignored the truth about born again. Jesus said you can't even tell uh, where the wind blow. He's told that to Nicodemus, yeah. born again. He said, be as little children. Yeah, that's what God wants. Because all of us as little children have had our love light on. And all who love are born of God and know God because God is love. More still knows God even though he says there is no God because his love light is still on. I discern it. So he would die by a sword, be resurrected and become the Antichrist thereafter. But God has cut it's that not short. Happening. He's faithful to have performed his word of Matthew 24, 22 by his kingdom age word coming forth, his word from his mouth with no invalid additions and twisting of distortional from religion and tradition without no condemnation in his mouth for anyone who walks in the spirit walks under no condemnation. That's what having your love light on. Watch the video of uh, the deathbed confession of Anton LaVey. When he was dying, he realized, oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? He was like stuck in the elevator right? and he couldn't get off. But God let him get off and he saved that man on his deathbed because he still had his love light on. Mm -hmm. And the truth is we are angels, beloved. We are angels in the flesh. We're the grub. We're the ugly pupa. We're the larva. But we become the butterfly. But we become a greater glory because we're like the the biggest, most beautiful butterfly that he's had. And we are the glory and the highest creation of all his creation. And that is the God's honest truth. And that's why so we now it. comes the time to glorify our Lord because as we lift up his love, which has never forsaken us, we forsook him by our uh, destroyed for our lack of knowledge, right. Habakkuk foretold. And Habakkuk foretold this lady and the glory of worship and the glory of exalting his perfectness, right. his love, his kindness, because it's never been about us. It's always been only about him. Let me say that again. It's never been about us. All our religion, all of our understandings of his words, all of our good deeds, all of our goodness is bullshit. And it is of no importance whatsoever compared to the over transcending love of Christ. He is the sower of the seed of love who has transcended his, his uh, reaper. Trudy and I come forth as the reapers of his kingdom age come to earth on that great white cloud because he has sank his everlasting gospel into the world. And beloved, I am the writer thereof. If you don't believe me, look the very first channel or the very first video under this channel. Hear it. It sounds exactly like Moses because Moses predicted it would. Yeah. And I am the bringer of the fullness of Gentiles. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff about a lot of people, a lot of quotes, and I'm. this is all in the name of restoring all things. But truly, when that Kingdom Age covenant was rightly discerned for correctly as it was, uh, then came the f fulfillness of Isaiah 54. Israel has now inherited all the Gentiles, don't you know? Bible says so. And don't you know that when you move it to its correct spot, that reveals we've had nothing but desolate heritage, as Isaiah 49, 8 says so. And I am the bringer of that, if people like the truth. Truth is scary sometimes, because it's going to force us to have days burning as an oven, where we realize that all of our religion has been but a puff of smoke, that he's now going yeah. blowing it away. Yeah. Because the truth is, people, he's arising as as uh, 
the son of love with healing in his wings for all of us as he's destroying all the gross darkness of all man-made religion because his love is transcendent. He is the sower of the seed of love and he's overtaken his two lampstands here, his two sickles. And we bring forth the sickle of Amos 9. Look that up, it says so. That's the prophecy. And Jesus prophesied that he would stand over all because he's always been the God of all mankind. Jeremiah 32, 27 says so. He's never been the God of Christians. This is total fallacy, total uh, absurdity, and it renders them as a uh, cult who made a few bad mistakes along the, the line. But if they have their love light on, it don't matter what we believe because it's never been about us. It's about what he's done for us. Our righteousness is as filthy rags. Yeah. Now he knows, he, knows he knows that none of us are perfect. He knows that all of us have sinned. And uh, it's never been about that. But it's been about his love that's staying blind to it. Right. Because all throughout history, the everlasting covenant has always secretly been in place, even though people didn't understand it. Right. And if you read Jeremiah 31 and 32, those two chapters, you shall discover that he correctly addressed his blessing of mankind to all mankind. Right. And it was always to all mankind. Right. It says so. Yeah. Jeremiah 32, 27, I am the God of all mankind. And what happened... You get Jeremiah 31, and then came the scribes, and the scribes uh, numbered everything, and they put, well, let's make that chapter uh, 31, and let's make this chapter 32. Let's number those now. Everything organized, everything put in this nice little place. Yeah. And then but guess the what? They took 31 and 32 and said, two different chapters now. Yeah. They were all one chapter. That that Those two chapters were one chapter. Yeah. And they... Split divided it, it. Yeah. just like mankind was divided by us yeah. first by God now he 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 brought our disunity because we were on the yeah. fast track building skyscrapers with no tools no cranes and we were we ha he had to slow us down even though it would bring disunity so in order to get back unity disunity must come first Jesus said so he says when the harvest comes and Trudy and I are the harvest reapers sending forth this word trudy's doing the hard stuff that drives me crazy she's on there tweeting and uh, facebooking and all this stuff i i can't do that stuff i'm stuck in the elevator when i do that but uh the bottom line is we're getting this message out that when the wheat and the tares come for the harvest and we are the harvesters beloved and uh don't condemn us for what the bible says but the Bi bible reveals all of this that israel would inherit all the Gentiles when this happens and moreover because of that boy, I really messed up my hair yeah leave it be I'm getting rough and tough for story time yeah. poor little dog and poor little I just give him <laughs> an apology kiss her little head we got to be as little children people we got to reverse the curse we got to back on up to have the great restoration of Acts 321 that has to come forth or Jesus cannot come back that says the same thing that if the lawless one is not revealed in Second Thessalonians, and unless the great falling away happens, those three things, and it says so in the Bible, Acts 3.21, the restoration of his word by his own word with no added interruption, yeah. uh, that gave an opposite total different meaning and changed the course of right. our history. People but have been misled. He knew that he would send a delusion that we would choose to uh, believe a lie and even though our world has been uh, 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 unloving one and a uh, uh, critical of false God and there's never been a false God just false understanding of his love he knew that that fault falseness would save our asses too because otherwise I guarantee you for thousands of years back in the day dark ages mentality we would have had ages like Caligula and Sodom and Gomorrah all rolled into one dynamite Boom. fuck factory Oh boy, things would have, if people thought the real truth that they could do anything they like and there would be no reward, but guess what? Those that come at the end of the day get paid the same as those that have been there all the time. And that is the shattering of the power of the holy people. As the son of love arises and said, none of your, what you've ever imagined has made any importance is your light of love on. Right. Because if your light of love on, is on, regardless of what you believe, it's never been about us. If your light of love is on, 
those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. They might be like stupid fish, like Morg. <laughs> I love you, Morg. Go watch Morg officials. Keep your friends closer, your enemies closer. Man, this guy is an exponential phase. He's he's just adding like five, uh, 50,000 uh, new subscribers in three, four months. And he's raking in the money. He's raking in the money, people. His influence would be uh, the Antichrist. I got the right guy. Yeah. So uh, here's what has to happen. If you want Jesus to come back, uh, the uh, f great falling away must happen. The lawless one must be revealed and the great restoration of his word, which shall only bring forth the days of our great refreshing, the great days of the great restitution of earth and of Isaiah 61, where the money of the world will come and heal this world because the rich are going to discover that they're going to go down with the ship too if they don't bail out the poor. So guess what? The strong shall save the poor or, or shall sh save the weak beloved. Yes. So these are the days of the glory of God coming forth through Trudy Darlene Owsley, my younger sister, born 1967. Seven, yep, summer and of love. And I'm born 1961. I was born in the summer of love. Summer of love. And I, I was born in somebody's nightmare. <laughs> And I guarantee I'm the nightmare of all religious uh, suckers out there. Well. And God loves them too if they keep their love light on. But guess what? We have to leave them. But the, it's time for the great falling away. Habakkuk 2, you must obey because here's, I started to tell you, here's what Habakkuk 2 says. Yea, though the vision has tarried, yet it will come at the end. It will not lie. Behold him whose soul is not upright, uh, uh, but the just shall live by his faith, even though he is transgressed by wine. And this is plainly written on the table, so all those that hear it might now run. Run. It says so. Run from the haters. This was the, the uh, alarm of the ages. Bang! Run, run from Bang! the haters. Run at Daniel's command, at the command of Elijah, and the command of the two rising lampstands of God that understands that everything's been all mucked up by our non-understanding his word of love. Yeah, our twisting of it. And it says that my soul shall become as greedy as hell and shall never be satisfied. And I'm going to embrace all people of the earth unto me for the risen lamb whose blood soaked cross still shines forth his most resplendent glory and love for and when he outstretched his hand went over eternity future and eternity back at the same time that's why it is written that he was slain before the lamb was slain before the before the foundation of the earth right. so now comes the uh, zenith the highest peak the mountain of all mountains which i uh, and and trudy are producing we are producing the lord's biggest mountain of his praise you cannot listen to my materials and have them not be full with praise That's just right. as jenny's song and uh, before i end this uh video i'm gonna i'm just gonna sit here for uh a couple five minutes and just soak in her musing let you listen to her if, uh, she, she's cuter than me anyway <laughs> better on the eyes if you're uh, if you're anyone like me but uh, one thing's for sure people this is the uh, cres crescendo and the fireworks of love the passion must now arise uh days of being the walking dead and walking around indifferently uh, are over we must let our sh light love shine we are angels we must ascend and he's on his great white cloud and within this moment because the trudy and i are keep giving and sending out this covenant message kingdom age it's kingdom age time and we're not going to